many different editing softwares on the Mac that it's amazing. You got Photoshop, you got Pixamator. Uh, here's one of my favorite programs that I like to use right here. It's called Aperture. And over here in Aperture, I got a, just a quick little JPEG, a quick little photo here. If you go over here to the presets, one thing I really love about it is you can kind of just, you know, scroll through the different presets as far as exposures and bring it up, bring it down. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be a professional in order to understand how to use Aperture. It's a great little program. I really like it a lot. Um, me, myself, I'm into a lot of different black and white things. So, you know, you can come over here and do the red filter, the orange filter, all kind of different stuff, you know. It's pretty cool. Uh, this tool right over here, you can kind of get real in depth. Look at Steve Jobs staring you down there. You know, uh, I really like it. It's really cool. However, here on the Mac, it's a very simple program. If Aperture is a little too advanced for you, it's just regular preview. When you double-click a photo, most of the time, you know, it comes default set if you haven't changed it that your photo is going to open up in preview. When you go over here to preview, open that photo up, you come over here to tools and you hit adjust color and you got a lot of those simple tools that you use on a day-to-day -day basis right here in uh, preview that were the same ones in Aperture. Um, you kind of just slide them around, you know, you got saturation to mess with, you got your shadows. You can bring the shadows up, bring them down. You got your contrast, uh, real easy. You can reset it all, start all over. Uh, one of those programs you can come in here and practice with, which I really enjoy, because you know you can never get to that point in your life to where you're afraid to touch anything and mess with anything, because you'll never change anything. You know things will always remain the same, and then you also always have that reset all. Boy, don't I wish that came with life. Um, another tool I like to use over here in Preview is the sizing tool. So if you come over here, you select uh, the tool size, uh, adjust the size here, this pops open here. And a lot of times you get in a situation of where you're in uh, social media or you're certain places and you're trying to upload a JPEG picture, very simple, and it says it's too big. Here, or right over here, you can come over here and just change the size of the photo, very simple. So. Let me go ahead and change it to the five and the height already adjusted itself, you know, and here's that picture a little bit smaller, that same thing. I can hit command Z almost in any program to go back to where I started. And you up here, you see the photo has been edited. You can come over here and see uh, browse all versions. I love this feature right here in Lion. If you're working with Lion, this is really cool. You can see the different versions of, you know, what it was before and where it's at today pretty much, you know, so uh, just a quick tip on editing photos. Remember always, you see this time machine back up here? Remember always to back up your time machine, back up your back, back up your Macs. I cannot stress enough, back it up, back that thing up. All right, well, thank you and have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>